Right, okay guys. So what we're gonna to touch on today, quick video, um, is how to actually flight track in Microsoft Flight Simulator with the use of one, FS Live Traffic, two, um, you can also use a combination of AIG as well, okay, but three, little nav map okay little nav map and fs live traffic those two combine perfect so if you ever launch the same launch fs live traffic and you're like oh my god okay they are traffic yes in the same but as i'm not sh i've been watching for 10 minutes and I don't see any aircraft take off and land. What's going on? Is it all static aircraft or does this aircraft actually move? Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run through all that, right? To show you guys how to actually track your um, aircraft in the sim with the FS live traffic add-on. Okay, so here we go. Right, first of all, what we need to do, right? If you haven't done this, already is make sure that's turned off right show traffic nameplates with fs live traffic this really doesn't work okay so you will not see the plates right so no call signs or anything like that will be sh um, shown in the sim with this on or off okay so that's a pointless um, thing when you're using FS live traffic, okay? Uh, ground aircraft density, turn that down to zero. Okay, once you've done all that, right? Apply, save, cool. Right, so here I am in the sim. Okay, so that's my aircraft there flashing. Okay, and where am I now? I'm at Heathrow. Okay, so looking at that now, you're like, okay, cool, no problem, that's step one, finish, so you're in the sim, now we need to inject some traffic in the simulator, right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to FS Live Traffic Injector, okay? Just like that. And if you haven't um, previously set this up, okay? So for example, do you want to make changes? So these are the current settings saved, okay? If you tweak these settings before like on previous previous launch these settings will be saved there and if you don't want to change anything just hit enter and you're good to go right however if you want to change right hit y and hit enter and it will basically step through each of these um options so it will ask you ifr traffic right um I think these are percentage values. I'm not sure, or it could, I'm not hundred percent sure what values these are, if they're hundred percent or if they're percentage or not. Okay. But with my system, um, mine was, um, default 85. I'm not sure if that's just like a system detection that gave me 85 or not, but yeah, mine was 85 for IFR traffic. VFR traffic was 15. Um, additional parked aircraft, right? I just left it at five. Um, the only thing that I actually tweaked was the blocked aircraft removal time, right? I had 60 seconds on that, okay? And everything else I just left, um, yeah, I just kept it as it is. So once you've done that, okay, hit enter, right? And we're going to start injecting traffic into the sim. Okay, so I will do this twice. Okay, I'm gonna do it so you can see how it look for you guys when you actually first launch a sim. And then now we're gonna start loading in traffic, right? There you go. So we got traffic coming in now and you're like, okay, cool. So if you remember I said to you, this the labels of the traffic, you will not be able to, yes, you can look at that and say, right, that's Speedbird. 
Um, but in terms of call signs and stuff like that, um, you actually can't see that. Okay, and if you're doing what I was doing was using um, flight uh, radar 24, it will seem like uh, this doesn't really match up. Okay, right. Cool. So let's explain how it really works. So there you go. Aircraft airport has got aircraft in. Aircraft in the skies, right? We like, oh my god, I'm not sure. Like, it's which one's landing, which one's depart. Like, am I just gonna sit here and then these aircraft move or do anything or what? Right? Okay, cool. First, when you start to inject traffic in the sim, right, it takes about 30 seconds, 45, 30 to 45 seconds, and then you start seeing um, aircraft displaying in the in the sim. And then what I found is if you wait enough, like further um, five to 10 minutes or it could be 15, right? You will now start to see a lot of movements going on in the sim, right? Or at airport, you see a lot of movements. Okay, so at the minute, all these aircraft just looks all like they're static, right? But we've got nothing, no aircraft taking off or um, say no departures or landings. So you might think, Okay, something is wrong. Okay, so sitting here waiting for something that you think might not happen, like sitting sitting here waiting for an arrival. Okay, well, it doesn't look like we've got any arrivals coming in anytime soon. If you should look at those aircrafts at those high altitudes, clearly they're not coming to land. Okay, right. This is where little nav map comes in handy okay so let's get little nav map up just to show you guys what it looks like okay here we go little nav map okay so that is my aircraft there right and these aircrafts all populate through fs live traffic so let's take it back, right? Let's completely shut that down, which you will now see all these aircrafts will disappear. Right, these aircrafts will go. Um, in a minute, okay, there you go. So all the aircraft's gone, just mine still there. Okay, let's go into that view and let's take it back. So you guys can actually see everything um, working. Right, so that's my EasyJet right there. Okay, so let's bring little nav map there. Okay, next thing is let's grab FS live traffic. Right, and let's move that to there. Okay, and now, okay, no changes needed. I'm just going to hit enter. And you'll now see Listen Have Map populating at the same time as the airport. Okay, so remember, give it 30 to 45 seconds, right? And we'll start to see all this area getting filled up with aircrafts. And there you go. Right, so now you can come here and actually use these um, the aircraft icons to actually get the information on the aircraft. Right, so you remember I said to you the name plate doesn't work in, this, in the Microsoft Sim? Okay, this is how you actually find out what aircraft is where Okay, so just to confirm, that is my EasyJet and it's a Phoenix. Okay, cool. And to the right, see, we've got um, Speedbird, British Airways, two British Airways. So this should be two British Airways. Okay, so airline, Speedbird, one, airline, Speedbird, two. Okay, around the corner, what we got, let's see if we can find something else. Right, so up top here we've got 
bring it down so you guys can see. Okay, so Finir is around this corner here. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, let's see. Um, which one's Finir? So this is Airway Blues. Uh, let's have a look. Which, where is that? So you guys get the idea. Um, okay, so there you go, so Finia. Right. So click on it if you want and you can get the info. Right. Tail number, transpond, transponder code. Okay, cool, zero, zero, zero. Right, let's see if the tail number is actually one. Let's have a look. So yeah, that's how you guys get the information on. Okay, now these aircraft now in the sky, right? Let's take a look at those ones. So just zoom out and there you go. You can see the traffic above. Okay, there you go guys, you got the traffic. Um, so there I, that's my aircraft there. Okay, so I am, oh, let's go back, let's go back, let's go back, let's go back. So that's me. Okay, so behind me, if I turn around now, there should be an aircraft there. Okay, so behind me, it's not this, so we got this direct one in the distance. Okay, but we also got one to my right now looking at it. Okay, so there you go. Okay, altitude and everything's there as well, guys. So that's it. And remember, a little nav map can also be connected remotely. Right, so there you go, guys. That is a way to view AI traffic. Cool, quick video. Okay, guys, that is it.